It's the look of a tie that kind of sets you apart from everyone else. You may have, let's say, everyone has on a same black suit, but it's the person who has on that tie with maybe a floral print to it, a different pattern, a polka dot, and it's like, wow, you really look good, but you're all wearing the same suit, but the tie that really brings it out, and especially now with the pocket squares, right there. So before I go to sleep at night, what I do is I pick the suit that I'm gonna wear, the tie, and also the shirt. And so then, I pick out a tie, I always try to figure out what tie is gonna pop the most for that day. So here's an example of a tie. Polka dots are tight work. I'm telling you all folks, it's, it's lit. You'll be lit with a, with, a pocket, with, a, with a polka dot like this. I place the tie around my neck like this. Now what you wanna do is you wanna have a longer end and a shorter end. And the shorter end has to be like right above your belly button. Like maybe about um, two fingers up. Now, why? You saying, Freddie, why are you doing this? That's because if you don't do that, when you finish your tie, it's gonna to be too short. So this kind of balances everything out. So we have the smaller side. I'm gonna lay it over the longer side of my tie. So you're gonna form like this V right over here. And you see how my fingers are? It's holding it together. So like that, when you do this next portion, it won't get messed up. Then from that point, you take the bottom of the long tie, and then you put it right into that V. So now that the longer portion is on one side, you take the same long portion, you bring it back in, you dip it under inside, so you see how you have one side that's thick, another side that's thick, and if you notice, the tie is getting shorter. Then you take the longer portion once again, now you flip it over. So it's kind of like covering to hide that V. And then, this is the part you always hear, over, under, and all that good stuff, and so then you go ahead and you open the hole that you made, and you bring it under the knot, the loop that you made, and then now you adjust the tie. And fellas, you are ready to go. One of the things I remember growing up was a scripture that says you're fearfully and wonderfully made. And it makes me remember that every time where you try to fit in with a certain group, you know, you don't look the part, you don't dress the part, you know, you're too skinny or you're too tall or you don't look this part. And so what happens, it, it kind of, it, it plays with your mindset and make you think as if, you know, I can't be as good as my classmate. And so one thing I would tell the generation of this time is that you are enough. You are enough by yourself. Um, as a matter of fact, when you stand out, that's a good thing. You don't always have to be in a group because when you're a group, the question is, are you a leader or are you a follower? And so when you stand out, you begin to be a leader and people will try to figure out, okay, why is Freddie by himself or what's going on? Because you don't need the validation of somebody else.